What is good? It is your boy Shimmy's here. Yeah? We're back at it again with another album reaction review. And today we got Arm and Hammer and the Alchemist collab album Haram. Very excited for this. I enjoyed Shrines, the Arm and Hammer album last year. I enjoyed the Alchemist project from last year, uh, Lulu, and um, obviously uh, the Price of Tea in China with Bodie James. So they've been on they've been on pretty good runs. Got a couple of features on here as well. Um, obviously, no most notably for me, Earl Sweatshirt. But we also got Quell Chris on here. So without further ado, I'm expecting some amazing beats and uh, some very complicated lyricism. But I'm not not that I'm no, I hate it, but I just know like. I gotta, I gotta be focused. I gotta, for real, like, I gotta focus right now. Um, <laughs> but first song is Sir Benny Miles. Dreams is dangerous, linger like angel does. Ain't no angels hovering, ain't no save with us, ain't no slave with us. You gonna need a bigger boat, you gonna need a smaller ocean, but here's some more ropes. I asked the question just to see it in your face. I already know the answer never mattered. Every mm. night he drink and piss up. I asked the question just to see it in your face. I already know the answer. Um, I like that. Hold deep, alcohol seep out the pores like Dale's air squeeze out the ocean floor. Leviathan swim with open jaws. Leviathan. Got throwing a biblical creature in there. Next song is Roaches Don't Fly. Oh, seemingly transition to that song. Next song is Black Sunlight featuring Kayana. storytelling or like just the way you describe stuff is crazy but i like that we lit up the night like sodom and gomorrah sodom and gomorrah uh the city in, in the bible that got like like uh like like fire and brimstone got held down on it from my god that's crazy yeah, i like that i've never heard of sodom and gomorrah bar that's pretty hard I don't want to disturb you. I don't want to disturb you. Fast and pray for rain, but just to 
trickle. Clean your own pistol. I can't walk them dogs with you. Mm. Mm. I like that. I really, I really like Billy Woods verse for sure on that. Best, I don't know, like the beginning of it kind of stuck with me. He says, since the seventh grade, I swore vengeance, not on one man, but on the uni race. Um, and then he was talking about like mowing lawns, put on, putting on a smile as if he meant it. And then, I don't know, just the way he described that. Cause like, I could, I could relate like mowing lawns. And he said something about like hiding out in the shed if it's too hot and then coming back home smelling like gasoline. Like, uh, I just, yeah, bro. Billy Woods writing. I'd, I'd read a book of his, I swear. All right, next song is Aubergine. Aubergine, I don't know what that word is. Uh, featuring Fielded. Bending wheels to exactly what I want. I've been hunting, I've been shielding, I'm filled off here. Fire, fire verse. My doctor left shock. My third eye don't believe me, just watch my chakras. Shots pop in the hills of Caracas. Negroes shoot for the top, always had poor posture. Traps packed with dead lobsters, bottom feeders, dope and gropper. Basic penny a la vodka. You order off the menu, chef handmade me lockers. I don't care, I don't be counting niggas' pockets. Westworld niggas re re booing, recycling the same shoeing. Rappers tired, inertia the only thing keep them moving. Uh, I mean, it, it was a given before I even press, press play that I was gonna have to run this back a couple times before really understanding, I guess, the album. Our next song is God's Feet. I don't know the name. Blow that horn fast, we've been ready to go home. Uh, when that horn blasts, the dead will be coming home. I'm pretty sure he's talking about, like, um, what is it called? The thing in Revelations, the, the freaking, bro, what is it called? What is like, people just van, like, pretty much the end times, like, uh, um, the trumpets, like the, the end of days, uh, where the angel blows his trumpets and then the apocalypse happens. And the, the word that's escaping me, I think it starts with an R, is like the rapture. Oh my god, he's talking about the ra I think he's talking about the rapture. Bro, that took way too long, that was hurting my head. Um, and I and I read all the left behind books too as a kid. I remember that. But yeah, no, he was. Uh, I, I feel like that's that's what he's talking about. In your lungs, when it's time, you know you won't have to think. You'll just do in the blink of an eye. The faith will go where they are made whole. Yeah. So the story in a blink of an eye, the faith will go where they're made whole. Make them a pattern. Prepare. Find the spirit getting lifted, singing murder ballads, yeah. looking for a prepares the table for me in front of my enemies and like he prepares the table and like he has a mansion and yeah but he's talking about he's talking about the rapture wasn't too big of a fan though of this one this was this one seemed like way more like low-key and like his singing was just I, I don't know low vibes I guess like kind of just not not as vibrant as other songs my next song is pepper tree This is a very, very odd beat. I'm gonna tell you that. I honestly, I, I, I've been, I, I kind of, yeah, it's, it's distracting. I can't even lie. I was like trying to listen to what the lyrics are saying, but I, I've just been uh, thinking about the beat because it reminds me of the Earl. It does not sound like an Alchemist beat at all. At least, at least from the Alchemist that I know so far. Obviously, I don't know his entire catalog, but from the Alchemist, like songs that I know, that does not at all sound like an Alchemist beat. It sounds like that, uh, like that Earl song off of Feet of Clay with uh, Mac Ami, 4N or something like that. Yeah, 4N, I think. Like, it's in reverse. 
and it sounds almost exactly like that. I think like maybe there are horns in reverse in here or some trumpets, whatever. But um, interesting. Something else out there in the dark. Something else out there. All right, next song is Scaffolds. See, I can't afford not to believe in things unseen, but belief always been dangerous to me. Slumped in the last few... No, I can't afford not to believe in things unseen, but belief has always been dangerous. So he's taking a risk. He's, that's what he's saying. He's saying, oh, that's, that's hard. That, that's pretty hard. I like that. Yeah, you can't can't afford to only believe I can't believe not I can't afford not yeah that, that's a bit this is kind of like negatives but um so he, he can't he can't afford to only believe in things that are seen um so thus he does believe in things unseen but he does know that belief in any in any sense has always been dangerous I like that. Change the high freak. Hey, don't ask me no question. I believe the black secrecy. Plum to the death for language, drowned in the thick of spirit. Bodies hung. I believe in black secrecy. I am a thousand moves. This world be heavy kick. My city still bumping in the bit and the 22 on the misbunches pillow. Fire. That was pretty good. Pretty good. I like that. Um, next song we have Falling Out the Sky, B Tran Earl. So I'm interested. I swear like every every next song that I hear from Earl, like he sounds more and more like you know, like Billy Woods. And, I mean he did say that that was his favorite rapper currently, so it makes sense he's gravitating towards his style. So I mean, I'm and I mean I don't mind it necessarily. He's still like he's, he's snapping barn out. But uh, really interesting to see if he uh, if he's still continuing down that path or uh, you know what he's gonna give us. Yeah, no, no, that one, that, that's not, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I was definitely expecting more sort of unorthodox, un unorthodox flow. But here he's literally like, he's like literally flowing on the beat. And I swear, it's, it's, that's like a, it's like a reggae sample or something. Um, so it's like very bouncy and Earl is definitely like on that, on that flow, uh, on that beat. Um, talking about his dad's, um, he said, he said, how did he start off? He said, um, what did he say? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm with a bunch of people that don't know how I am inside or something like that. Um, and then he said he sees his, his, his father's swollen body um, on the inside of his eyelids. Um, he, he didn't cry enough when he died. Um, yeah, yeah, so he's talking about his father, his father's death still. Um, and... Uh, yeah, oh, that's fire. I like that. It's talking about like galaxies and like star or like sun, some 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 like um, like astro astronomy sort of stuff. That, that's that's fire. I like I like that verse. I'm gonna have to run that back actually. She dropped the load on me. I think he's talking about when he uh, uh, got, um, when he found out that his dad died. She, she dropped the load on me. Um, I'll be with, yeah, I'll be with guys who don't know who, what's going on inside. It's okay. Swollen behind my eyes. I ain't cried for him in time. Every turn solo, we on the ride forward. The reverse not working. Sometimes he collides. Yeah. Damn, that reverse not working. Yeah. Ah, 
he didn't cry. Oh, that's damn. He, he, he got told that his father died, and um, and then like he has his father's uh, swollen, like his father's image in in his head. But that like that's where it remains because you know he he didn't. Uh, I guess, I guess he didn't see him enough, or he didn't have he didn't have enough time to cry for him while he was still there. Um, and reverse is not working. He can't turn back time. That's hard. That is hard. Right, so no sooner than we touch down, I'm seeing how we could get home and be right. It's hard to live in the moment, but I guess I had a gift. Why is so potent, zoning off ball rips? I paid an X in my ear. I heard voices I couldn't make out in the deep end. When I dip my head under, come again. Where it's stuck in my socks, pitch every few steps on the way to the graveyard. Old man crops, he's head in my foot lock. Next song is Wishing Bad, featuring Curly Castro and Amani. was interesting I, I i actually liked it it was kind of like menacing honestly kind of like sounded like a cypher beat it's pretty pretty basic you know but i really i really like the i guess the bass pattern um bass line next song is uh chicharrones i think it was pronounced uh featuring quell chris got caught with the pork you gotta kill the cop in your thoughts still saying pause <laughs> Negroes say they hate the cops, but the minutes are off, they want to lose force. I just work here, I'm not the boss. I'm not the boss. I never put just no laws, no laws. When they look back in history, make sure I'm absolved. Make sure. Don't try to rewrite the past, it's oral history where I'm involved. Oh. This beat is also menacing. He let me alone. Be the new F U B U. We ain't bros. Wake up like that simple. Hard time. Shoving that all in the face. Word spread. Snowballing on the animal farm. Plans to do Napoleon harm. Keep the little piggy safe inside their bones. We we on the way. Who think modern day? She calling uh. she. That, yeah, this beat is crazy. Oh my goodness. Well, killed that. Bro, this sounds like a Conway beat. Write the lips, put it on the spit. Big gross. Who got jokes? Our next song is Squeegee. Are you saying Sin City? Sin 
The next song is Robert Moses. Ross, Mandela smiling forever. What's clever? Joseph Stalin styling on him. Who better? King Hampson <laughs> out the QT. You must not got the newsletter. It's a new day. Man has no property in man. The dead have no say. Joseph Stalin Styler. Alright, next song and last song is Stone Free. Includes Arm and Hammers and the Alchemist album Haram. Uh, first thoughts and there's conclusions. I like the album from the first listen. I, I, I like the album. Um, I think there were a couple that fell flat to me. Um, the one that stands out specifically, um, like I guess me not liking, is the one that's like the instrumentals like reversed. I didn't like that one at all. That I couldn't, I couldn't catch that. And then there was another one where it was like a lot of like kind of singing. I think Godspeed or something. Um, but other, other than those two, I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed um, those songs. I can't decipher yet. I can't come to a conclusion yet on like what the album is, you know, the meaning. Uh, there's a correlation between the album cover and the lyricism. Um, I feel like a lot was talked about. Again, just like with the last one, I don't even I don't remember what I said in my first initial conclusion, but um, it took me quite a few listens to even to come up with something like somewhat of a of a thesis on what the album how of, of not even what the album is, but how I feel about the album even. So there's gonna be exact same thing with this. It's gonna take a number of listens. Uh, I'll, I'll pro I will upload the reaction video though first uh, without the written review but um, I can come back in a I don't know three four days time and uh, I'll, I'll have some of my thoughts pinned down um, in the description but yeah from what, what I heard um, there were definitely some outstanding beats on here for sure that definitely were like the trademark alchemist beats uh, but then again like there were some that were I'm like mm, that doesn't even that's not to me, that didn't even sound like a good beat. But then there were others that were a bit kind of like different from what I'm used to hearing from the Alchemist, but it still sounded like extremely well. And um, yeah, Billy Woods, the Lucid, uh, came through with yeah, just thought-provoking lyricism, far-reaching metaphors and mentions and yeah, just references. Um, and the features also amazing. Axe definitely loved Earl's verse. That was fantastic. Loved the way he came on there. I uh, didn't have like that. Like I mean, he doesn't have a typical high energy verse. Um, but even so, he was still like you know I felt like focused at least like on the like he was on like you know kind of not melodic but like rhythmically he was like on top of it. Um, which I enjoyed. Uh, Quell Chris also very much killed his feature for sure. But um, yeah, like I said, it'll take a few listens. I enjoyed the album, first listen. Um, I'll let y'all know what my favorite tracks are, but it's been your boy Tim Mizie. Thank you for watching. Let me know if any other albums, artists, songs you'd like me to check out. Peace.